Good thing they had a night off last night because they spent a lot of energy coming back from 15 down in the second half to force overtime. So, uh, yeah, I think this game, this day off will help them uh, in the game tonight. Boca, on the other hand, up to Shotman. There for the putback is Raven Barber. They got it to Filipovity early. And he hit a three-pointer as Manuel Rodriguez. Last night, 0 for 6. Three-point range. And he did not attempt a two-pointer. He had no points. Nearly three minutes elapsed in this first quarter. Flamengo has not scored. But therefore, the putback finally... And the fans enjoyed that one. You could hear them. Oh, that's awesome. Luzado with the rebound. He's working on Schottman. Good defense by Carlos Schottman, but Luzada scores anyway. Dosa gives it up. And now stolen away. Here comes Flamengo back the other way. Luzada for three. Splash! That's good. It's going to be Real Esteli of Nicaragua and Halcones de Salapa of Mexico. Carlin Gay will be with. And you're right, Paul. Gustavo Conti went to his bench early in this one. As Lozada is feeling it. And like I said, the coach put some subs in, shake it up a little bit, and change the momentum of this game right away. Out is three for four. Beg your pardon, he's got 11 points, but then answering on the other end. Rodato backs out. He launches the three. That's straight through. My goodness. Saw one of those in the Franca Obras game late. Franca, as they were trying to hold off Obras, as another three pointer goes through. <laughs> Scott Machado this time across the timeline and committed a critical turnover late in the game. Another three-pointer. That one for Jose Vildosa. And Will Rodriguez, he hands it off to Sebastian Vega. Now DiFilippo. Now Leo Minoli for three. Back outside. Lozada finally misses from three, but there for the tip-in. Who got that one? Didi Lozada, three of five all by himself. He's got 11 points for Flamengo. Which is their biggest of the game. The Filippo spinning tries to find the cutter along the baseline, but Manuel Rodriguez was not open and the pass got intercepted. There's Galvanini scoring. Bounce pass into the corner for Minoldi. Guerrero gets it back. He puts up the three. That's good. Maybe draws in Petrovic. Oh, hook pass over the head. Filippo finishes. Wow. Uh, someone tested me on that the other day. It's not, it wasn't that great. <laughs> it was probably 20, 29% or something like that. Look at the stat sheet here real quick and see how many different guys have hit from three-point range. One, two, three, four for Boca. Yeah, that, one. That, yeah, just three. Is, sure seems like a lot is, more. Yeah, it does. It seems like everybody in the building's putting up three pointers. Five three point shooters to spread the floor on the court at all times. Thirty two twenty six in favor of Flamengo. Di Filippo attacking from the corner, giving it up underneath to Manuel Rodriguez. It's interesting to see Flamengo went uh into a zone that that time maybe the last couple times but he probably will not work that game yeah it just makes sense another three-pointer as flamengo stretches the lead out to six yeah and, and also the uh shooting more free throws because the you know it's not as rough as it was back in the day so you know People, that, you know, like the Larry Birds and the Matty Johnsons and the Michael Jordans. And the, I heard you in Chicago yelling at me one time. 
<laughs> That's entirely possible. <laughs> Good stuff. And the spread is just two. Balby answers at the other end. Nice feed underneath, but Mike Tavares gets stripped. About a second, second half difference between shot clock and game clock. Shotman hits the floater along the baseline with 5.7 to play. And Paul, in a close game like this, do either team need to make very many adjustments in the second half? As yeah, six points, four rebounds. Shotman gives it up to Barber as you counseled Boca to do. Not that they could hear you, but coach <laughs> had the same thought. And at the other end, Luzada scores from in close. 44-41 now. Mildosa. Side to Mata. He fades away from 12. Mata now getting it to Leo Menoldi. Oh, he hit the backboard on the way up, but there for the putback. Rebound tapped up off the glass. No, Mainoldi finally tracks it down. Here comes Shotman zipping the pass up ahead to Rodriguez, and he lays it in with the right hand. Beautiful pass. Machado got bumped by his own player there as he was gathering to shoot from the left elbow. Now Balbi, yes! Mainoldi. Now to Mata, back outside. That three is good. Machado tries to weave his way through traffic. Shot clock down to four. Machado gets it back, launches the three, and misses. Shotman, open three. Splash! That for Carlos Shotman. He kind of raised that to an art form. Because he wasn't the tallest guy out there, but he always managed to tip it to himself. Yeah, yeah, they do not hesitate to ring you up. Filippo for three. That's good! Wow. Jose DiFilippo. DiFilippo wanted to shoot he that a couple of times. <laughs> he was thinking about it. That time, it's Vega. But we know how these games change. There's still eight minutes yep. left. Machado for three. That's good. Huge shot. Guerrero bumped twice. No call either time. I think good no calls there. Cueo tried to get his Tavares underneath. Stolen away by Vega. <laughs> Vega goes up. Cueo lets him go by. and You know, you need that double-digit uh, lead just in case to, you know, compensate for the, for the crowd. Bildosa, shot clock at seven. A wicked crossover to Shake Manfio. And ends up scoring. 68-56, 12 point lead. De Filippo lost it and got it back. Threw it up ahead to Rodriguez. He fades away, and that's good. Really impressive in this environment as well. De Filippo, beautiful pass up ahead to Rodriguez. He gets it back on the save. And look what he finds, an easy deuce. Huh. One of the smallest guys. 17-point lead. And Philip oh. Hovany <laughs> hits the three-pointer and draws the foul. <laughs> you, know, I, I, you know, I'm not real put that. Again, Boca content to run clock. Vildosa double-teamed. To Minoldi now the three by Filippo, oh. and that is good. <laughs> Keep this ball moving. I don't think it's hit the floor. Very impressive. Now, now Vildosa, the drive and the layup. Vildosa now with nine points. And Vega to cap it off. But in a tournament like this, where you may have to deal with some point differential calculations. This is true. 